What's up guys, this is KHL Limited, today I have another video for you guys and this video is another guide and this guide is going to show you how to level up quickly in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. If you haven't already, you remember to check out my Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix level up guide which I did a while ago if you are having problems with leveling up in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So there's going to be an annotation on the screen right now and a link in the description down below. So something that I noticed about Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix is that whenever you're neared in the story right before the final boss, you're usually only level 25 or under. And I thought that was a bit too low to fight the final boss, especially if you're doing critical mode. So I decided that I would make this guide for the people who are having trouble with the final boss or the secret bosses. So let's begin with the requirements for the guide. First of all, you have to have XP chance. XP chance ensures that you get double the experience whenever you're at critical health. XP chance can be obtained by using that bounding crystal when melding certain commands. It doesn't work with all of them, but if you do want to know which ones it does work with, I'm going to have a link down below which shows a list of all the commands you can meld and you could just look for the ones that does have XP chance and make that one. Whichever you want, just make it. Secondly, you're going to have to turn off Treasure Magnet. What Treasure Magnet does, it automatically picks up health orbs, and money, or even delict points when you're in a certain range. We need to take it off so it ensures we don't pick up any HP orbs when we have critical health so it'll make the leveling up process smoother. Thirdly, you're going to need access to Radiant Garden since this is where all the grinding will take place. And lastly, you're going to need Mega Flares. Now, Mega Flares are the hardest ones to get. And remember, the more Mega Flares you have, the faster the process is going to be when leveling up. So I recommend a minimum of 2 Mega Flares, but in this guide, I'll be showing how to do with 4 Mega Flares, which is the maximum amount of Mega Flares you can get. So to make Mega Flares, you're going to need Fissure Faraga and Crawling Fire. And to make these commands, there's a few different ways to make each. So depending on how you want to do it, you can pick any method on the screen I have right now. There's a few methods for each one. So pick the way you want to make it and make one of each. Now once you make one Fissure Faraga and one Crawling Fire, level them up to the max and meld them to make a Mega Flare. Once you have one Mega Flare, go to a Moogle and you'll see Fissure Faraga and Crawling Fire are now available for purchase. So if you want a total of 4 Mega Flares, you're going to want to buy 3 of each, which will run you a total of 9,900 money. But if you only want 2 Mega Flares in total, just buy 1 of each, which will run you 3,300 money. Now level up all the Fissure Faragas and Crawling Fires to maximum level and make the 3 last Mega Flares. Here's a tip. Use the 1 Mega Flare you have when leveling up the Fissure Faragas and Crawling Fires, as it will make the process much faster. Now time to go through the execution of actually leveling up. So once you have all the Mega Flares and you're actually ready to level up, go to the reactor in Radiant Garden which is right outside the Aqueduct. So once you're in the reactor, go into the middle and let the Unverse spawn and keep hitting you until you have critical health. Once at critical health, don't start using Mega Flare right away. Instead, go to the edge of the room and stay away from the Unverse to ensure you don't pick up any of the health orbs when they die. Make sure you're not too far away from them or they may despawn. Once you're far away from them, use Mega Flare and make sure not to pick up any of their health orbs. Once the first wave is gone, the second wave will spawn and use Mega Flare again. So now you're done with the inverse. So if you want to keep your critical health, you can go around the health orbs and leave the room if you want to make it a faster process. Or if you're like me, you'll sometimes just take the beautiful money. One trip in the reactor is going to get you 1174 experience. But if you have 4 Mega Flares, you can go back to the reactor almost immediately, do the process again, and you'll have a total of 2348 experience points per all the Mega Flares together. So all you have to do is go into the reactor, use two Mega Flares, get out, and rinse and repeat. With this method, you're going to quickly level up again, and again, and again at a pretty good rate. If you guys did like this video, remember to leave a like down below, remember to comment down below suggestions for future videos. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, remember to check out my Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix level up guide if you haven't yet. Remember to subscribe, and remember the possibilities for Kingdom Hearts Unlimited. Later.